Okay, we got the chrysalis spell. Oh, fuck you, Banshee. Yeah, that's, that's just, like, what's gonna happen. Okay, this is just get the black axe. Does you know you're shedding? Yes? What you expected haven't happened. The snowdrops did not do anything to the bottle. Well, it was worth a try. Well, wait, 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 wait. The snowdrop is already salty? No, it, it didn't say it's salty. It just says that it's tear shaped. We're using adventure logic. If it's tear shaped, oh. tears are salty, so. <laughs> well, instead of putting it in the bottle, put it directly into the machine. We can try it. Let me go up here real quick in case I, I don't remember if there was anything up here. Oh yeah, there's, there's, a tornado. There's, there's a fucking tornado. Man, let's. I could try talking to it. There we go. Speak to tornado. You failed to get a response from the tornado. Hit tornado. You hurl a, a wild haymaker right past through the edge of the rotating wind. I'm glad that they wrote a specific message for that because they knew somebody <laughs> was going to try and punch the the uh, tornado. Tornado, tornado, tornado. What do you do with a tornado? Punching a tornado seems like a good way to lose a hand. It depends on what it's blowing around in there. We still don't know what to use the bucket for. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just one of those trash items that you pick up. You cannot go there. No. I mean, there are. This game does have trash items. All right. Let's go play with alchemy again. Uh, did I put the skull in yet? Yes. I hope. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What are the what? What's the what's the plant you get in the freaking well? Oh, that was the moss, the mint, and the flower. Yep, the the two flower what? buds and the mint. I suspect we've Wait, made... Wait, have we only tried using empty bottles on it, or have we tried using water bottles as well? Legit, let's see what happens if I use a water bottle on it. You are unable to capture any of the vapor in the bottle. Uh... Oh, man, if I had a set of bellows... Okay, 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 okay. This this flower here, this one, the round flower? Yeah? Yep. The, the... That thing that looks like a sunflower, did you find that in the well? Yes. It's aggravating, isn't it? What was the three ingredients? It's bitter root, brackish water, was it? Yep, brackish water. And what else? Rat skull. So, we probably have the bitter root and the rat skull. We're just missing the water part. I yep. don't think using the flowers directly will make the water we need. But I can try it because fuck it. Yeah, fuck it.
Black nope. paper Black. again. Black. Let's eat the smoke. Fuck it. Inhale the pungent black cloud. Kind of tastes like licorice. So we made licorice again, which is their, like, fail state. Apparently licorice is the default flavor. Maybe the guy who made the contraption really liked licorice. Yep. A little peeved right now. I feel like we're really close. Right? Painfully. I'm gonna take another look at that book. Use the horn on the tree. We know what the horn is for. I, no, I don't think this is gonna work. Um... Uh, let me see here. Potions and remedies. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like if any room in this fucking library, or if any book in this library was supposed to give us a hint, it would have been that one. Define... Is this doldrum? Doldrum. It's, um, like, uh... A state or period of inactive stagnation or depression. So this isn't even yeah. the right thing. Ennui wasn't the word I was looking for, um... Similarly, the powdered skull of Rodentia, the brackish, a brackish base. Anadonia was what I was thinking Slightly of. Slightly salty water is a mixture of river water or sweet water. Unpleasant or disdainful. So just water. Because all of the uh, water is brackish, right? Like we've been I thought brackish specifically meant salty. Take some sort of castle. Who owns the castle? Use the horn on the tree. I can't believe we're at this point. This is the point where I start rubbing things against all the other things, but <laughs> unlike the first game, there's so much. There's so much stuff. I mean, part of the problem is we have the alchemy machine, and we just don't know how to get stuff out of it. So... Maybe we don't. Maybe the problem now is we can't find the right ingredients for this shit to work. Yeah. I mean, if we want to try more ingredients, we could try adding water to it and see if that helps us in any way. Well, I have to reload to do that, because we only have the one bit of root. Yeah. And the one bread. That's true. The bread's gone now. I hear uh, the, the crunching of celery. Yep. It's celery. I like to guess now. I figure either he's eating celery or carrots. Okay, we've reloaded, which means there's a lot of stuff behind us now. 
Go back to the library. We haven't checked all the books, man. We have... kind of... Like, I, I'm almost completely familiar with this goddamn library now. <laughs> and we've read all the scrolls from this library. Y yeah? That we have in our possession. They were books. There were three books and a couple of scrolls. So let's see here. This one is a blank book. This one's devoid of text. Uh, read on. I am honored to have been selected by Findel to document the works of the Circle. The newest initiative, the wrong man of the Quinn. Okay, this is the stuff about Lackmere. And have we looked inside the desk? What desk? Oh, holy shit. Uh. Oh, there we go. Here's a book and a blank page. Uh, the yellow parchment completely blank. And this is a strangely textured. Leaves dark imprints everywhere you touch it. Yeah, that carbon was the carpet paper. paper. And. All right, have we have we done this book? With a pinch of dragon scale brought to a simmer and let it rest in copper. In addition, remedy for intestinal stomach injuries is to take one red crest shroom, one stem of seedling plant. So that's the flower, and then the winter tear. And a white tear seedling plant. I fucking told you. What seedling? I'm just gonna. Now, hang I'm on, just hang gonna on. Break. We don't know if that's the thing. See, what what seedling plant? Where are you going? What do you mean? Where am I going? We we reloaded. I haven't done the whole thing where I got the oh. skull. <coughs> well, look look at your look at the the plant ingredients whenever you get a moment. Okay, let me let me at least get this skull first. Yeah, no, do do what you got to do. I've got to bring in more groceries. <sighs> oh, we we got. How we many got groceries a did you get? We got we got probably about four or five hundred dollars in stuff. Jesus wow. Christ, man! Well, it's not groceries. It's paper towels and regular towels and hand towels and. Oh, and here is a whole chicken. Wait, that whole chicken has been sitting out there? I've been streaming for like uh, two hours, man. No, it just got here, dude. Oh, okay. Go, go deal with your shit. <laughs> well, I can still kind of be here. I just can't see what you're doing. The goal is actually pretty sane for them. Yeah, things got a little bit more insane. Oh. No. Ah. Zap. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about I the goddamn I wall. Used the gin to go back. <laughs> I should have used the goddamn gin. I know. Either way. <laughs> Fucking Christ. If I was over there, I'd use the Wilhelm now. Take the route. There we go. Use this skull. All right. Freaking Grimlock. What is Grimlock? Always refrigerate the Bok Bok on arrival. That's why we call it a Bok Bok Box. Oh, 
Okay, there's the Banshee. It does say pain in stomach. It does. Yep. The Banshee is just a delusion that you're having while you've got severe dysentery. That I got from a coffin. Uh, yeah. Stabbing pain in the stomach, yeah. Oh, ho, hum. <laughs> I need a proper spice rack. So do I. I thought about it, but I can't find one that'll fit in my cabinet. Okay, let me look at this book again. We'll take a look. It's in a yeah, book. It's in a Mushroom, book. Mushroom, sunflower, and tear plant, I believe. Red question shroom. We got one of those. Stem of a seedling plant and a white... Seedling plant. That's a sunflower. Have you ever seen a seed... Have you ever seen a sunflower? With a cluster of seeds near its crown. So this is it. Yeah. All right. Let's, let me save first. I'm going to do a quick save so we don't have to keep going back and forth. Yep. All right. A and, and the thing is, it took us this long because we overlooked one thing. <laughs> that happens, man. That's been happening. And... And a tear plant. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's get to marching. <laughs> oh, I like our snick and old lace. Nobody got that joke when I was doing Jackie Welldrop. Nobody got that joke, and I was so upset. Dude, do you know? I listen. I would have never in my life ever. Not even once, not not even as a curiosity, ever watched Arsenic and Old Lace if it weren't for you. No, that's not, but people know about it. And I had an Arsenic symbol over Old Lace. Dude, you think I'd... eccentrics, eccentrics <laughs> like us and old people know about that movie. It's too bad, it's a good movie. Uh, you What's know what, I'm going to frisk this dead guy. No, all right, what's what's it about? Go and watch it, goddammit. <laughs> it's it's uh fucking now I forget like I'm put on the spot and now I can't remember anybody so it's Cary Grant playing one of the best roles of his life in what is essentially a play that takes place on three separate scenes I mean uh, uh, stages I should say settings that's what I'm looking for and it's just it's I, I showed this to Charlie once, and after we are done with the movie, he turned to me and he said, it's like being in your mind. <laughs> like talking to me <laughs> specifically. It, it is, forget about influential, it's just like my Bible, this, this play. <laughs> but there is one scene, one scene where Cary Grant takes about 30 seconds of acting and facial features he says no words and you understand 100 percent what's going on in his mind while he does it does it have saffy yes in male form kind of <laughs> <laughs> you've got a guy played by boris karlov actually you know that was actually pretty funny in the original play production of arsenic and old lace boris karlov actually played the part of the evil brother whose name escapes me right now johnny that's right Johnny. Uh, Boris Karlov played that part, and people constantly compared him to Boris Karlov. And he got angry. <laughs> <laughs> like, in the play, the character was being compared to the actor who was playing him. Unfortunately for the movie, Boris Karlov was doing something else. So they got a different guy, but they kept that bit in. And it's, it's just... It's, it's a 
fucking delight. Go go watch it. It's amazing. It is the Natch Evil movie. I can't go into the flower because I'm retarded today. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Does it have joy? One of the ants, actually both of the ants, they're old deers. <laughs> I, I want to give I want to give you as little information as possible. It's like an hour long movie. It is totally worth your time. I think it's on YouTube. Now I gotta fucking look it up. Hang on. It's a gym. Arsenic and Old Lace. Full movie, please. Uh, buy or rent, but I mean, it, it depends on where you look. It's an oldie. So. Yeah, it looks like someone uploaded it four years ago, and it was two hours long. I don't remember it being two hours long. Well, okay, here's a play. Oh, and then there's another version that's an hour long. Well, here's, here's a two-hour thing where it's actually a play. And I might watch that. In fact, I'm going to put that under watch later. But the one with Cary Grant is brilliant because Cary Grant is brilliant. And he, Mortimer, he plays Mortimer Brewster of the Brewster family. And the whole setup is about after he gets married and he comes home to his aunt. And he found that, oh, dead body. Um, why is there a dead body? And then it all just spins out of control from there. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't kill people. Despite the fact that it's illegal, it's not very nice. It's not very nice. <laughs> it's not a nice thing to do. He's also convincing his brother uh, that, uh, that his Brewster is code for... Um. Uh, Roosevelt, take the bee off of Brewster, and what do you got? A rooster. And what does a rooster do? It crows. And where do you hunt? Cro and where do you hunt in Africa? The veld. Well, there you go. Crows veld. <laughs> I I could quote it all day, and I need to stop. We need to stop because <laughs> it is like it's 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 my favorite. So just find a way to watch it. It's good. Yeah. All right, there we go. That's all three ingredients. Let's cast the mix. Uh, wave of power, the contraptions, hums to life, deep purple color. Whoa, this is different. Pours from the valve, the same contraption. Let's eat it. Yep. You open your mouth, inhale the vapors. Your body is immediately racked by a series of violent tremors, but in the moment the episode passes, when your head clears, you realize that you are feeling much better as if the dark pall has left your body. Perhaps you have been cured of the Banshee's curse. Congratulations, you have earned a journeyman healer oh. achievement. Journeyman? Yeah. There's a harder one? Congratulations. Well, I mean, journeyman's your skill level, so... On hard, you probably need one more ingredient. So, it only took all night, but we did what we set out to do. Well, yeah, we kept doing the one to uh, cure us instead of the one to uh, heal us. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, that's just if what I was we had have known. I'm going to go... Hang on. I just need to step away from the computer and punch myself in the dick real quick. <laughs> <sighs> so while I'm here, let's catch up with all the shit we've been doing. Yep. Now... Oh, hey, you know what? I just realized the rug is there. Goodbye, rug. All right. Um, and, no, that's uh, one problem down. Now our only time limit is the damn torches. Which we have plenty of. Yeah. Um, what do I have? Do I have the fire elemental because we have to go and get the uh, horn again? We have to do stuff. Like, I need to catch up. So... How was your day? Cause we're we're gonna be walking around a lot. H how are you guys doing? Uh, do, have you got your shot yet? Yeah, and so far it's been fine. I mean, 
I'm getting the same standard arm pain that you get from all of those muscle vaccines. Speaking but... of shots, I want you guys, listen. I don't know if, how well any of you know Endo, but like both of his parents are in the hospital right now. I heard. Ah, and... oh, shit. Remember, this is going on YouTube. Um, well, the more love I can get for him, <laughs> like, he's, he's, uh, man, he's just the, he's just the greatest little guy. Man. Yeah, I'm worried about him. He and, needs like, he's, he's a been lot having of support. A, he's been having a shit luck. Just the shittiest luck lately. With his friend, his parents. Now, we can't talk about his friend, obviously, but then, then his parents happen, and it's just like, holy shit, man. No, what? he's having a really awful run. What god did you piss off? <laughs> uh, so, as much love as you can send his way, uh, keep him in your thoughts if you could. So get him your nerves. Just give me a friendly little hit. I can take a hit. Oh, hint. Uh, uh, there's nothing out here right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. On day four, basically not 90% now. Oh, yeah, because you got the C-19. The NC-19 uh, uh, or 2019 vaccination shot. Are we out of... Um, we out of keys. We still got this weird key. Nope. Oh, that's a hell of a noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, this works a lot better, this streaming uh, setup that we've been doing. Works a hell of a lot le better than having you guys watch Twitch. Yeah. All right, let the battle commence. Really, I just got to waste time while I'm doing this. Yeah, I've, pretty much. <clears throat> I've been feeling a lot better. Like, I... Depression is weird. When... Yeah. It, when I take meditation into the case, but, like, I've been having some... Uh, some pretty lousy thoughts... no t past time button uh, the last couple of weeks and t like uh, yesterday I got up and I was pretty good today I was dancing so I guess I'm over my Paul nice so something happened I don't know sometimes even even those bursts of joy uh, can be a symptom of ongoing depression so sometimes sometimes you can feel like you're on the other side of it and then wake up the next day and and it's in you again. Um, there, there's been times I've had it and didn't really even realize it because I'm kind of just moody anyway. And uh, and then I've come out. It's like the sun came out, and it's like, and I didn't even know it was cloudy. Oh, depression can be really kind of strange. It, Settle on you real nice and slow, like a heavy blanket, and then the next thing you know, <laughs> you, you didn't even know what happened. Yeah. I don't remember if there was anything in this chair. No. I guess. Um. One thing about depression is that it's not how you feel; it's how you feel compared to how you feel the next morning. Yeah. Oh, and Lightning Hound got uh, got a shot and knocked him out for a couple of days. And did that to me too, Lightning Hound. Let's see. Is that the only key I have left? Yes, it is. All right. Got a bunch of watermelon cubes. So I'm usually a pretty okay guy, right? Like, I don't know. I I wouldn't say cheerful, but I usually have a pretty good.
good sensibility about me, and depression isn't my thing. But for the last two weeks, for some reason, it's it's like fucking worse than depression. It's like um, oh, I was just here. God damn it. Um, dread. It's like dread. Well, that's awful. Yeah. Like, I know I'm good. Like, okay, I know I'm gonna die. <laughs> but, like, I'm not dead now, right? But for the last couple of weeks, up until yesterday morning, honestly, I was just absolute dread. Even though it's like, well, yeah, you know, you pr probably got a few more years. I'm fairly healthy. I don't know. Yeah. It just dragged me down. Ooh, what's this? Uh, oh, it's it hits Christmas. me every once in a while as well. There it is. All right, let's start. No, I know. Uh, I know that feeling. Um. All right, right here, boy. It's spell powerful enchantment. I well, I hate the feeling, and I've I've had it before, but never like this for this long. Okay, I just... Ironically, I've only had it since I've started being happy in life. I found yeah, this cause... girl, I came back home, I made amends with my my longest living friend, and I've got so many things to live for. Yeah, it, it's the same... Now I'm terrified. I, I think that's <laughs> it. It's now, now that we've got something, like we're, we're in a good place, now the only thing we have to worry about is losing it? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And I fucking hell. Like, now that the inheritance has gone through and I can pay off all my debts, it's, I mean, it's not gone through, it's still on hold because that's what they do with large amounts of money. But now that the inheritance is, has, is in the bag, as it were, like it's a, it's a for certain thing, I don't worry about money, but now I'm worried about money. But why? I have money, what the fuck? It's, it doesn't make, it's, it's not logical, right? I mean, part of it is, you have money that you'll never be able to uh, reproduce getting. That's true. I kind of figure that's what it's like for people who are born into riches, but then watch it slowly disappear. Uh, nothing in the drawers. Nope, nothing. All right. And that's that's kind of the deal, right? Like, after everything is said and done, I, I can live very comfortably off of $1,000 a month. And that means that... Fuck, man. I, I could live leisurely pretty... For, for a pretty long time. Um... As long as nothing comes up. Yeah, the pandemic and the surreality of it has killed off all the normals, so you don't feel lost right now. It seems like... Yeah, there was a... Uh, I, I keep repeating this because it's damn right. Uh, DeFranco was, was saying that forget about thriving. If you survived last year, you're a winner. 